Well, I was coming back from pollinating the dragon fruit, and I saw this guy hanging out there. And I ran into the house and grabbed my phone. And also we see another guy right here. So using my mad CSI deduction skills using Occam's razor, I'm going to bet this little guy right here was attacked by this guy right here. And surprisingly, two things. One is they're both out at night. So perhaps the warm concrete is helping them. But also um, that the alligator lizard um, escaped. And this is right here is a striped phase California king snake. And this is a western alligator lizard, or actually more precise, a San Diego alligator lizard. They actually have their own species. So, acting a little bit odd, I wanted to be sure this was something that was going to be able to make it on its own. And as the night went on, he did. He keeps scraping himself like this, not overly concerned that I'm there with the big two light shining. I'm wearing a headlamp because I was pollinating and um, really taken by how the snake looks at night. So nice and shiny like that. Really pretty. The colors are really pop. And that's my kennel in the background right there. And while I was doing this, the dogs were checking on me, seeing the lights floating around out there. And I'm assuming that there was some there's Misha right there, checking things out. I wouldn't put her up to holding her own against a snake, but anyway, um, I think that there's some rat holes or something that the snake is uh, hiding in. Getting a little closer on this alligator lizard, I thought he really bought the farm right there, but he made a little bit of movement, and he doesn't be breathing that much, but he might be okay. Checking on the snake, seeing where he's getting off to. And it appears there's a hole that he found. And did a little double checking and said, hmm, hope he didn't go into the kennel. So I had to check that out. is clear so I want to see what's going on with this guy and he looks like he's going to try to find some refuge in the garage and that's not a good idea because it doesn't get warm enough for him and he may end up hibernating in there so um, I'm not going to let him go inside uh, he has different ideas so I'm going to just get in front of him right here and uh, he gets the message and we're going to take a look at him don't want to stress him any more than he is. He's been through an awful lot. And look at him go. Huh? That's why a lot of people think they're snakes. And I want him in the upper cover because we've got owls and other raptors that probably have them every night, but they're not going to have it on my watch. So, without stressing him too much, try to encourage going there. And there he goes. I think he's safe for the night. So, goodbye, Webby. Please remember to subscribe and share this video to help disabled animals with donated wheelchairs.